Let's get going on this brick job. Grab your 19 millimeter socket and remove your lug nuts. Remove your wheel. This bracket right here is a bracket for your brake cable. We're gonna remove this 10 millimeter bolt. Okay, so now we're gonna remove our caliper bolts here. Okay, these are just the bolts that hold to the slider. I'm gonna use a 13 millimeter wrench. Break that free. And just pay attention to which side has this rubber dampener on it. It's very important. Use your small pry bar. Remove the caliper. Set your caliper aside. We're gonna remove the pads. Recycle these. We're gonna use our 15 millimeter socket and remove this mounting bolt and this mounting bolt right here. There's our bolt. I'm just gonna put it back in just for a couple threads. That's for safety while I remove this one. We'll remove that bolt. Hold the bracket. Remove the other bolt. There we go. So next we need to get the rotor off of here. To do that, I'm gonna put on one of these lug nuts, a few good threads. We're gonna remove this bolt right here. To do that, you're gonna use a Torx bit, and it's a T40. <laughs> Grab your rotor. If it doesn't wanna come off, use your small hammer. Give it a couple bonks. Nice. Okay, so we have our old rotor. We're just gonna take our new rotor, put it over the top, make sure you have the same circumference. We're gonna lay it down right on the floor next to it and make sure that this matches up. That tells us that our half depth is the same. We've got our old pad and a new pad. Hold them up next to each other and just make sure that they're the same length and the same width. These look perfect to install. Okay, so it's time to clean up the, um, the hub for the bearing. You can do that with either a brush or one of these. Probably have to use both. So I got the majority of this uh, bearing hub cleaned up as I can with that tool. Now I'm gonna move along to my brush and I'm gonna get in between the lug studs and the center of the hub there. Okay, so we've got this cleaned up. It looks pretty decent at this point. All the mating surfaces are clean. But before we rush ahead and go ahead and throw a rotor on there, we wanna make sure that we clean up behind this as well because sometimes you'll notice there's a lot of rust flakes. We wanna get those out of there to make sure that nothing can fall down in between the rotor and this surface. That looks great. Little squirt of copper never sees. Okay, so now we're gonna wanna take our rotor, put it up on here. I know it's backwards. A Little bit of parts cleaner, clean up this braking surface. That looks great. Turn it over, put it on this side. We're gonna clean up this braking surface. Grab your mounting bolt, put it in the hole. All right, let's start cleaning this caliper bracket. So, one of the first things you wanna do is remove your caliper slider. We're gonna remove the boot off of the caliper slider and do the same to the other side. I like to set them down on their corresponding sides. These sliders don't look like they're in too bad a condition, but we'll clean them up in a second anyway. The next thing we wanna do, we're gonna remove these caliper tins. These are just the tins between the bracket and the pad. We'll remove all four of those and we'll recycle them because we're gonna be replacing them. So at this point, we have a stripped bracket. There's nothing else that I can take off of this, but we do, we do still need to clean this up. I'm gonna put on my safety glasses, of course, my hand protection. I'm gonna use a little bit of this parts cleaner. I'm gonna go right inside the slider hole. Something as simple as a bore brush. Just run it in there. This is gonna help clean out that crud. Tip it over, give it another quick spray. I'm gonna let this dry. All right, so let's get to cleaning up this bracket now. You can either use your little wire brush and clean up this area right here. This is where those tins are gonna be and also where the pad's gonna ride. Or you can go ahead and use a tool that looks something like this, which might be a little bit more efficient.
beautiful. So now we need to talk about this area right along here on the bracket. A lot of times you'll get rust and buildup, and that's because moisture sits in between the boot and the bracket, and it just hangs out, and it starts uh, eating at that metal, okay? We need to clean that up. Last thing you want is moisture getting in there, and then getting in between your slider and the bracket itself and causing an issue, okay? Use your pocket screwdriver, use a little wire brush, whatever you gotta do, make sure it's nice and clean for a great contact point. Okay, that looks great. Let's move along to cleaning our sliders now. Grab a rag, wipe off any of the existing crud that's on there. Look right along this edge right here. This is where the boot's gonna ride, okay? Once again, just like on the caliper bracket, you need to make sure that there isn't a whole bunch of rust build up there. This one looks great, so I'm really not very worried about it. We'll clean up the other slider, just like that. Both of these look great. If they have a lot of uh, deposits on them or build up, you need to clean them off much better than just using a rag, okay? Use some sandpaper or a wire wheel, whatever you need to do. We're gonna make sure we clean out these boots now. You need to make sure you get any crud that's inside there out. Could have moisture, rust, debris. Take that same rag, push it through. Just like that. Now we're just going to take the slider boot and just roll it. Roll, roll, roll. As you're rolling it, it's a great time to look at the boot itself and make sure that it's not torn anywhere. If it's torn, you need to replace it. This one looks great. We'll do the same to the other one. Roll it. I'm checking it. It looks great. I love it. We'll set that aside. So now we're just going to use a little bit of this grease from our uh, packet. Just put it up along here and then along there, just like that, okay? I made sure that I got it up inside that lip, and that's very important because when we put the boot on here, we need to spin it, and that's gonna help make a little barrier so moisture can't wick its way inside there. Put a little bit more on this slider. That looks pretty great. We'll slide it in here, give it a bunch of spins, all right? We wanna make sure we get grease up along this lip as well. Put it there. Push this up on there, give it a few spins, Beautiful. We're going to do the same to the other side. Okay, so now we're just going to take a little bit more of this grease. Of course, I'm using my gloved finger here. I'm not using uh, my skin. I would not recommend using skin. And I'm just going to go right along the contact points where those tins are going to ride. and Do all four of them, okay? Here's the new tins that I promised you. Let's show you how to install them. When you look at these tins, what you're going to notice is you have a little hooky-do here, and then you have a flat side. And then if you turn it this way, you'll also notice it has a hooky-do on this side and a flat side. It's super important to make sure that you have this hooky-do facing out and away from the rotor. If you have it backwards, it's potential that this could hit up against the rotor and cause noise and issues. And you also want to make sure that you have the flat side facing down. So we'll go just like this, squeeze it over. Do the same for all four. Beautiful. Okay, so now it's time to get our caliper bracket back mounted onto the vehicle. We're gonna slide it over the rotor, grab our two mounting bolts, and start both those in. After that, we're gonna bottom them out and then I'll torque them down to manufacturer specifications. Let's torque them up. So let's torque these to 66 foot pounds. Torqued, torqued. Okay, so grab your caliper and one of your caliper slider bolts. We're just gonna start it in this top one right here. Okay? You don't need to tighten it up yet because it's going to come right back off. At this point, we need to push back this caliper piston. To do that, I'm going to use some long nose pliers. And I'm going to go right inside this groove and the lower groove. I'm going to try to twist and push at the same time and try to push in this piston. You have to twist and push at the same time. Okay, so we're just going to take our little hose pliers here. Just pinch it on there. Remove this boot. I'm going to take a little bit of penetrant. Go right along the caliper and the bleeder. You're gonna use a 10 millimeter socket. Just go right on here. I'm gonna take one of my caliper bolts. I'm just gonna start it in here to hold the caliper still for me. Let's try loosening this up. Okay, that broke free nice and easy. Let's try to get our socket back off of there. There we go. Got a little bit of fluid coming out, so just make sure we have our collection bucket under there. I'm going to try using some long nose pliers and just see if I can push back this caliper piston. To do that, you have to apply pressure and twist at the same time.
We're just gonna keep doing this until we get the caliper piston and as far as it'll go. Okay, so let's just remove these pliers. We're gonna wait a second till we see some fluid come out of here. Once we see it start coming out and there's no air bubbles, we'll tighten it up. Looks like we got a pretty good flow. Give this a little wiggle. Ooh, there's a little air bubble. I like to just do this a little bit. It helps push out any air that's sitting in there. Okay. Let's snug this up. Clean down your caliper. Okay, let's get this bolt back out of here. We'll get our boot back on this. We wanna make sure that this is as dry as can be. We'll let it finish drying. This looks great. Let's take a little bit of that um, caliper grease. I'm just gonna go along the piston and then along each of these ears. And this is just the contact points where the caliper is gonna meet up against the pad. Let's get our pads back in there. They should slide right in. If you have to hit them in with a hammer, you probably didn't clean up your bracket enough. Let's grab our caliper, just slide it over the pads. Should flow right over there. We remember this, it goes on the bottom. We've got our other bolt for the top. Okay, let's tighten these up. Tight. Take this bolt, put it back in here. Okay, let's grab our wheel and put it back up on here. Okay, let's torque our lug nuts. 100 foot-pounds with a 19 millimeter socket. Torqued. 